Okay, greetings. All right, I have found a bit. So on these moments where there's a significant syntax change, I want to document, right? So um, I let you hear the 10 bit last week, but it wasn't consolidated uh, as a form. Think about the hand as a spiral, right? Doing this, right? So now these are the lower knuckles, these are the upper knuckles. So I can trigger the lower knuckles without triggering the upper knuckles, so they're independent. So starting at the index and the lower knuckle with the upper knuckles straight, it's one, two, four, eight, then 16, right? Then um, the first basis is the same thing above, one, two, four, eight, 16. So then the whole hand is that. But as a 10 bit sequence, it's one, two, four, eight, 16. Uh, 32, 64, 128, 256, with, the th with, the, with this part being 512. That'll make the total number of, po the no total number of possibilities 1,022, 1,024, right, per hand. We've already discussed this, but I'm setting you up for um, what I figured out a couple of days ago. So let's see, let's turn that on. Okay. Remember, the release trigger is um, the last combination of fingers that was held. So when you see me do this, I did release. I just made a release trigger, which changes the key of the entire system. It also changes the um, the um, rhythm complexity. The rhythm speeds up depending at the lowest. See, like here, I do that. And then you see, and it's slow. It's like one time a second, things like that. But then if I hold all of them and I go like go like this. triggers. This is the, the, the lesson that the Metahorn taught me. That the thumbs being, I had them as one, so they were every other. And that's still a thing. But this way, I get... Before I plug this in, I want to tell you, well, I can plug it in, I don't have it on. So what occurred to me the other day is that I keep talking about a 20-bit sequence, 20-bit sequence, but I had not implemented a 20-bit sequence, which basically means that if we do what I did before, started thinking of it like a saxophone, right? With the right hand being the bottom and the left hand being the top, then if we do what, what I just said, we roll. Lower lower knuckles first. Let's see, let's do it with this hand. Lower knuckles first, thumb. Upper knuckles next, thumb. So it becomes it becomes a uh, 
you see so there's this rolling thing so it's like the lower knuckles then the upper knuckles and then the thumbs right and so the way it works is it goes from the right hand here and then this all together equals 1024 and then this is multiples of that so this is 1248 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, um, 1020, 1024, then 2048, 4096, uh, 8, 8192, all the way up to 1 million. Um, and this would, to, all together, is 1,048,576 uh, divided by 1,476,000, I mean, by 1,048,576 equals one. So if you can imagine a one that has been broken up into a million little pieces, all independently accessible, as w both hands create one value, right? So then I take that and multiply it by any range that I want. At this point, I have it multiplied by 8,192, or 8, basically. Uh, that gives me um, like maybe up to 13 kilohertz in range uh, for the total, right? So let's see here. <coughs> Oops, wrong thing. this is something I have to actually just investigate but there's actually one more aspect I needed to make this video first so that the other the next video has context it's a it's a real simple overlap of numbers that uh, when you hear it it's gonna be some wild ass shit so I wanted to make this video first and I'm still gonna take my time it's not gonna be like I'm gonna post anything today uh, after this, I'm going to take my time with the next thing, but I have a feeling that it's probably going to pop out this afternoon. So who knows, maybe there's another video tomorrow, I don't know. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I got this, got the 20-bit logic 